Uh, I kind of want to go ahead and make a video because of things I said on streams that passed the record. And after watching this video, I, I was actually making a video on how this may not always be the best way to do it. The best way to uh, do a not clicker check. And, and specifically in the matter of checking the time difference between ARM animations to gather what is effectively a player's CPS. And um, my argument was that uh, this would not work on 1.9. And the main reason that is, is because a player can be considered clicking infinite amount of CPS because you do not have flying packets while you are standing still and not looking or moving. Since in 1.8 and below, you do send flying packets when you stand still, but not anymore in 1.9. I should say the reason I played myself is because this is Tix is actually infinitely more accurate than using um using uh uh using timestamps. And he, while John Han didn't explain it very well in this video, uh, um it's actually quite simple. If I send packets all in one little tick and it's all coming in as zero zero zeros, that information is useless to me if I'm checking differences between the last animation and now based on the receiving packet time, which is what he mentions in here. What he doesn't mention is what makes ticks more accurate, which is basically, if I have all of these coming in the same time, they will always be in the same order. So basically this will just be processing really quickly, but if it's concurrently stable, uh, the information will be the same. So if I'm getting packets all received at the same time, this will still be a hundred milliseconds difference because I have two flying packets in between one arm animation, which effectively means a hundred milliseconds of not clicking. So this is why it's more accurate. However, specifically on, um, oops, specifically on 1.9, um, this is actually not a very reliable way of doing it if a player is standing still. So you're effectively going to have to go ahead and only run your auto clicker check if a flying packet has been recently uh, initiated or you can basically do a combo thing of what I or you can basically do a combo thing of what I did here sorry I showed something that's a uh, big no-no for you to see is I basically do flying ticks and convert it to milliseconds which is by the way just a normalized basically just uh, ticks but in a millisecond form and timestamp deltas for 1.9 so I can specifically like do uh, and like make this check uh, not a problem on 1.9 by just checking for lag or just straight up not making it work on 1.9. But the reason why you want to ensure that you are checking for 1.9, uh, the reason I'm doing this here is just so this can be hooked into other checks, not just for auto clickers. But you want to make sure that your checks are not working on 1.9. Because if you have a 1.8 spigot based server, but you have via version all the way up to like 1.14, since combat mechanics are pretty much all done on the server side, um, it'll be 1.8 mechanics, 1.9 and 1.12. They'll hit basically the same. It'll be a little bit weird looking, but it should be fine. So what I'm so the problem specifically is that standing still, you're going to have false positives if you're not checking for it because flying a ticks is not going to be reliable in that instance. I wanted to make sure that this is mentioned because I previously made past arguments that millisec that, that using timestamps is just as accurate and not that much and doesn't but it doesn't provide any more resolution. It is more accurate, but only if you're specifically uh, developing your anti-cheat, assuming that 1.8.9 and below clients are going to be connecting to the server. So, uh, yeah, that's uh, it for today, and as always, stay funky, see you all, goodbye.